Hey guys, welcome back to Buster's Corner here on YouTube. Welcome back. I've got something really, really cool, really, really exciting to share with you guys. Uh, brother Tom and I, Tom Hogue and me, Tom and I, have decided to release our Atlas workbook for you to use, um, which if you're a DIY setup guy like we are, uh, this is a really good tool for you to have and to use. And I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to download it, set it up and use it uh, i think once you get it it's really easy once you get the hang of this you're gonna love it it's really gonna change your game out here um, if you are the type of guy like me that we take you take the stock setup and you do a little tweaks here and there to it um, and and go racing then this is what you need with the next gen cars it's imperative that you get the right height set up right and it's imperative that you get the rake set up right on that car if you can't do ride heights and rake, you really can't build your own cars. And you can, I guess, try and get that stuff using the camera angles. Some people do it that way, I guess, but that ain't that ain't what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. This is what you need. This is a game changer, you guys. This is gonna change your game 200%, okay? I'm gonna walk you through the setup on this. If you already have the Atlas program, maybe you do, then you can fast forward to the other stuff in this. But the first thing we do is go out and get Atlas from iRacing and then download that and kind of build off of there. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if this is your, something you're interested in. Because if people leave comments, notes, or updates on this particular video, you're going to want to get the little email saying there's a, uh, a comment on Buster's Corner YouTube uh, for, this, for this video. If you don't subscribe, you won't get the bells, you won't be updated, and you'll be left out of the loop. And you'll come back in six months or a year and ask questions. You go, well, what happened to this? Well, read uh, comment number two. So subscribe, okay, for your own benefit. That, I need a 1,000 subscribers. Let's get started. I'm going to shut me off. You don't need to see me no more. And I'm going to get rid of this picture here. Here's where we start, okay, is iRacing. And you go down here to help and support. Click on that. Now, if I'm going too fast for anything like that or you get lost, just rewind it. Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand and ask questions. Come down to the bottom, Atlas Express Installer. You're going to click on that. And you'll see the bottom left of my screen here. It is downloaded. Okay. So for now, I'm going to close this out. Oh, I need that later. I'm going to here my downloads all right uh, let me delete a couple of these here okay this is what you should have in your downloads where you put it you can do a right click on this file extract all okay and it should go right next to itself just leave it there extract okay you're going to double click on this this is the installer and gets it up and running I'm not going to do it. I've already done mine. So you got to finish that process right there. If this process doesn't work, go talk to uh, iRacing or whoever writes this stuff. But that installs it. Now, with that said, that part's done. On your desktop, you should have two icons, Atlas and Data Server. Okay? It's as easy as that. Now, take this Atlas and pin it to your, to your start down here. Or your taskbar. Or you can put it in your start too if you want to do this one. Anyways, just put it someplace you can get to it easily. Data server you won't use. That's just a background noise. Just leave it there. So if you look at mine, I have my Atlas down here. So let's open up Atlas now. Because now you have it. This is what it's going to look like. Where is it? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. That's that's it. That's Atlas. Now that you have Atlas, you need to put a workbook into here. They call it a workbook. Okay. This does not... Let me see. Do I have any? I do, but I'm not going to show that to you yet. Okay. Oops. Shh, stop, stop, stop. Cancel. Okay. Let's close our Atlas. Let's lower Atlas down. Now... 
we have to go get the workbook that Tom put together for us. And this link, I'm going to copy this. This link will be down below. Okay, so you can copy, paste, or click on it. I'm not sure how it's going to come out down below. But this is the link you want. You're going to copy that. Go back to my Google. Open another page here. Right click and paste. Okay, and push enter. Tom, uh, T Hog 95. All right, Oval Track Workbook, README file. The README file is just right here. I clicked on it. It's just what he says right here. Uh, double check the path. I may have a slight typo, but this is where the book needs to go. Okay, so let's download. Let's click on that. Oh, here it is. Oh, so you click on that. Come over here. Download. Okay, downloading, downloading, boom, there. All right, I'm gonna lower this down. Go back to my file tree, downloads. There it is, Oval Track Workbook V3. All right, all right. Now, here comes the tricky part. We're gonna right click and we're gonna copy it. Now, I'm gonna go over here to Documents. And in my documents is McLaren Electronic Systems. You got this when you downloaded Atlas. That's where this came from. All right, so we're gonna click, double click on that. And here you see Atlas 9. Double click on that. Okay, down here it says Workbooks. Double click on that. And, and you're gonna do a right click and a paste. Okay. And it should look like this. I'm not sure the examples in there, and I think the example comes with it. But you should have Oval Track Workbook V3 in here. Boom. Now let's close this. All right. Now let's go back to our Atlas we have open down here. That we, if you closed it, then go just reopen Atlas. If you lowered it, then and just just pop it open. Okay. Now. Go up here to this one, and you should see these two workbooks in here. And we're going to double click on this one, and there it is. That's your workbook. Now, we need data. We need data for that. And we get the data from telemetry. Okay, and I'm going to show you that, how we're going to turn that on and off, and, and how it's going to come in here. So for now, we can just lower this, leave it right there. All right, so we have Atlas downloaded. We've got the Atlas, we got our workbook data. Now I should have a room here open. Okay, we're gonna go get some data from here. Uh, I'm gonna open this up, test drive, let that load. When I first came into the, I think I've only been in uh, Iris for about maybe a year now, um, coming up. But I couldn't find really anything to really help me do setups the way they should be done. Um, sure, I ran across this before, Atlas before, but man, I had no idea how to use it. None. Um, over my head, or I didn't have time. Probably more so I didn't have time, because I, I work full time. But um, Brother Tommy came on board uh and he's an engineer retired engineer did some racing in his days late model sportsman out there stock the 99 got him on board and, and this stuff's like butter like butter to him he's like oh just do 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 and, and bam he's knocking these things out for us so that's really cool um which benefits all of us thank you tom thank you tom all right let me see here all right now telemetry um, you want to put this on a button. Options, controls. See this? Toggle telemetry logging. Why? Why, Bob, do I want that? My buttons are full. Uh, you can put it anywhere, keyboards like that. There's times when, so, as you, there's times when you want to push a button and turn telemetry on without having to go back to here. Uh, maybe it's in the middle of a race. 
maybe it's the last five laps of a race maybe it's the last two laps of a race and you want to see how your car looks with two laps to go how's it finishing the race okay uh maybe you have a pit stop coming up pretty soon and you want to and you say i'm gonna pit on lap 50 i'm gonna record from lap 47 to 50 to see what the right heights look like before i run out of gas okay so and just during your testing you might want to turn it on or turn it off when telemetry is on all the time it logs a file onto your hard drive hard drive is space right so you don't need all the time and actually telemetry will only do a certain amount of laps at all it only so, so big the file can be it's only so big only the file can only be so big <laughs> I sound like baby Yoda or Yoda for a minute there. That's messed up. So you want to assign a button to it. I have mine assigned to a button. Okay. Done there. Now, you need uh, three laps. It's going to record an out lap, good laps, and, and an in lap. So you need to get three laps in to have any kind of telemetry at all. So let's go run. Let's go run. This is by Kansas. Oh, what I'm gonna do, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. I'm going to go to iRacing just to show you how good this stuff is. Um, Kansas. I'm going to take the iRacing setup and we're going to check this. We're going to look at the telemetry on this one first, okay? Partial match found in Sim Experience database. I got to run three Profile laps. Profile modified. So, like I said, when I first started, I couldn't, could not find any good stuff that I'm going to set up. And. You know, you get a car and you can hear the thing hitting the ground. You know it is. So you're guessing. Okay, I'll just raise the rise, uh, raise the right heights until it puts hitting the ground, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, not really knowing what it's doing to everybody, all the other corners in your car. Okay, so that's so that's my out lap, and this is my first lap, and this will record. Let's say you do five laps. When it opens, when you open the, the files up, and I'll show you, uh, it sh usually starts, or it should start with your fastest lap first on the telemetry that you're going to review. If I remember correctly, this one scrapes the ground right in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? Remember they did that patch, uh, and they fixed a lot of this stuff. Okay, one more lap. So, but this is the program I use this on everything, um, more so than I use the Motec. Well, I take that back. Uh, I have to have the Motec for my downdraft, my aero package setup, more than I need this one. But Tom incorporated some of that into here. There we go, thirty-one point one four nine. If you see on my screen down at the bottom, see my telemetry is red right there? So my button, uh, there it is, it's that button. I turn it on and off right there. Okay, leave it on. All right. We got data. Pause. Now, let me open up Atlas. Okay. And now I'm going to load session and you can do it from up here load or you can do it from right here okay load session all right here's my sessions all right and this is formatted so the one on the bottom is the last one whoops I thought it was uh, did, 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 did. oh is this because uh, did, did, did. There. Okay. I, I, that's why. The thing here was... So, it, it came with them up top. I changed it so it's on the, one on the bottom. Okay. So, I open this up. Start in your top left-hand corner. This is actually says out lap. So, it did not start my fastest lap. But I'm going to go there. This is our data. Now, we do need to make an adjustment to this, uh, this version that Tom gave us. See my, my right front here? This right front shock bar shouldn't be there so we're going to fix this real quick i'm going to do a right click in this corner right right click in the middle 
go to parameters see this RF shock deflection highlight that click remove click apply click OK that fixes it now we're gonna have to save this when we're done here alright so what do we got what do we got well here's our right heights okay now you can move this bar and this is your lap this is the fastest lap okay from end to end actually at this point you can go over here right click here generate circuit from lap click yes okay there's the track so you can take this blue dot and drag it around the track okay or you can grab one of the bars right here all right and do it that way so let's say for now what does our car look like on the back straightaway okay so as I look at these the, I know these are kind of hard to see because they're, they're they're colored but you'll, you'll see so what I'm looking at here let me see where do we start um, the whole bar represents all the laps this top number represents where the car is right now and same with down here where the car is right now right now on that track where that blue dot is my left front tire left front to, to the, um, the the right height is 0.7 inches which is about three quarters of an inch right my center right height is 1.1 and my right front right height is 1.4 okay and same with down here 1.0, 1.3, 1 1.7. Okay, so as you look, it just is a broad stroke. So my left front is is 0.7, right front's 1.4 inches, right rear is sitting at one inch off the ground, right rear is 1.7. So, so I'm raked, right? I'm not flat, but I, I got a little bit of rake to it. It had been worse if the car was tilted the other way, right? And you would know that right here. Okay, so that's what we're looking at, say, and then this one here is our rake. So the car is currently at 0.3 inches of a rake, right? Front to back. All right. With my right height in the middle, 1.1. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. This is your rake. And you want this line as flat as you can possibly get it, especially on next gen. Okay. As you see these little dips right here, you can say, put this line on a dip. Say, why is that dip so big right there? I don't know, something going on that corner. You can call your rake right there. Now on this one here though, watch this. So if we talk about rake. I know I'm kind of scattered, kind of going all over the place here. Uh, but it's fun. On your rake, which is very important next gen, right? Look down here at the bottom two numbers, it says 0.4 to 0.1. That's the minimum and maximum that you had during that lap okay so we had a 0.4 to a 0.1 arc uh, uh, arc rake which is 0.1 is almost flat right between flat to a 0.4 not much rake there especially when next gen wants about an inch all right so you can take your little marker and let's say we put this marker right here and look at your car in the corner the left is 0.5 far right is 0.4 my center is 0.5. It's probably no rake there at all. We'll see. The left rear 0.7, right rear 0.6. This car is rolling over on the right hand side. You see that? How the left side's higher than the right side? This car's leaning over in that corner. And that's not good. But you wouldn't have known that with a camera, probably. Because it's point it's point one is off by point one. One tenth of an inch. Alright. Uh over here let's just jump through some of this uh, so right tire right side left side left rear right rear just like you see in the garage when you look at your tire tire temps where they where they are where the tires working so if I'm in this straight away up here here are my tire temps uh, I'm going across this tire you see the center it looks like it's a little over inflated but I'm not gonna judge on this this video is not for judging that's that's uh, what we have. That's our workbook. Okay. Now, let's go do something else. Just so you, okay. So, 
picture that. Let's go around a lap with something else now. Oh, you can't open session on top of session, okay? Before I can load another session, I must session close and get a blank workbook before I go back up and do a session open of another one, okay? Cancel that. We're gonna lower this down, okay? But this time, just to show you what this program does for you, my setups, uh, Kansas, 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 version five. Okay, this is my setup. You notice at the bottom of my screen, telemetry is on. Okay. Best laps are 31150. Uh, this setup is available on our Facebook page to download. That's Buster's Corner uh, on Facebook. That's where I put all my setups each week that I make. A little loose on the first lap. That's all right. She's fine. Interesting, I mentioned how you can turn your telemetry button on, you know, towards the end of a race and get your telemetry on, on ride heights and things like that. So in the divisions where you can add fuel or subtract fuel, that would be very useful to say, okay, five laps to go, my, my fanny is so too high. My phone's ringing. Um, and so you may, instead of putting 10 gallons of fuel in the tank, you may go to 12 gallons or 14 to get the right height back down so, so everything runs smoothly. There we go. Just, a, just an idea. 30.9. I can't come on. I can't talk right now. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. More mouse. Okay. Let's pull up this one. Load session. Why is it getting on the top up there? Am I doing something wrong here? It should be dated. It should be this one, right? Hmm. I think I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know what I did, but we did something. Okay. All right. This is the one we just ran. And look up over here. We just, so it says 2F. That's our fastest out of my three laps. So let's take that one. Now, just for the fun of it, if you remember what the other one had. Oh, man. How come people can't take if you don't if I don't answer the phone the first time? What makes you think I'm gonna answer the third time? I am not. <laughs> Knucklehead. Miss call. Three times. Okay. Um I know what he wants. He wants to go to the racetrack tonight. Alright. Uh just quick overview. So let's put this in the corner right down here. And look at my front end. One inch off the ground, one inch off the ground, and my front splitter's at zero. Okay. 1.8, 1.8. This car is flat in the corner. It's flat in the corner, and I got a 0.8 rake. 
which actually should probably be a little bit taller than that. Okay, that's that's what next gen wants. That's why I was so much faster, so much faster than the stock setup, wasn't I? All right. So then, and I go back. Let's go, let's go back over to this corner over here. 1.0.1.1.0. The car is flat in both corners. That's what this tool. That's what this tool does for you. It shows you what those things are and, and, and the adjustments you can make to make your car faster than stock. That's why this is so cool. Um, I did notice earlier when I was playing with this. I got looking at my tires up here. <clears throat> I don't think I tuned the tires properly. I forgot looking at this, and I I missed that when I did the setup. But um, ain't that too cool? Now this does show me a problem here on my splitter hitting the ground right here. And where did that happen? So, okay, where did that happen? So on my middle graph right here, this is my right heights, and this one's purple. Where is purple hitting the ground? It looks like all over the place, because I'm, I'm right there. There you go, that's negative one, and see where I am right there? Why? Corner entry, I tapped the ground right there. Hmm. I'm not going to worry about that because I think what happens is the air pressure increases and it picks that nose up enough to it's not scraping no more. Yeah. I'm going with that. You that or should read the right. <laughs> Just a little bit right there. Okay. Um, what else? Your, let's see. Let me, let me, uh, session close. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do all this. Uh, close. Uh, yeah. No, that was the wrong thing to do. Dang it. Okay, that was the wrong thing to do. I just messed up my file. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... cancel right. I didn't want to do that I wanted to just close it I was want to close it say changes yes on the first time okay mm. that's okay watch this downloads copy Documents, McLaren, Atlas 9, Workbooks, Paste, Replace. All right. Okay. Open. Open workbook three. Okay. Now I know it's this one. Properties parameters. Right front shock. Remove. Apply. Okay. Close it. Save changes. Yes. There you go, okay. And I'm sure, uh, depending on when this video comes out, or uh, Tom's out of town right now for a couple of days, uh, when he gets in, he'll he'll uh, fix that patch that we have up there. So you may not see this at all, depending on when you watch this. So Atlas workbook three. Okay. Let it open up. Open. These are timed. See, it's 202 to 212. So this should be. There it is, 24412. Okay. And this way, whenever you come in, you know, 
your last one is like right here. So if we open this up now, okay, see originally I had the, the shock was in here. I got rid of the shock, okay? So now though, whenever you save this, don't save it, all right? And each time you come in, the map will be gone. Just do a right click, generate map uh, circuit from lap, okay? So once you get a couple laps, Tom says we do three laps, you'll generate automatically. Mine doesn't do that, I don't know. Maybe because he's special. But that's how you get your map, is right click, generate from circuit. Uh, yes. Okay, but now when you close it, don't save it. Okay, if you save it, it's well, if you save it, it's gonna save this map for you. And then if you go to a different track, you got the map. But that's okay if the map is there and you're at a different track now, just right, oops. Uh, just right click it and it'll give you the map for the track you're at for the last lap you ran. Okay, save changes, no. Um, I think that's just about it. Something else that I did is I have a shortcut because I have the triple monitors and my two side ones are, are windowed and the center one is a full screen. So I set up on my start. Now, let me get out of this, I'll show you. Because you can't see what I'm doing over there. Down here you can. Uh, start. My telemetry shortcut is right here. And I'm sure you can put it down here on the taskbar. I just didn't do it. Just, I just did it this way. This file folder gets full. Okay? From every time you run a lapse. If you don't shut the telemetry off, this thing just fills up, fills up, fills up. So you want to go through here and and delete these old ones. Okay. It only fills up if you have telemetry on, though. It doesn't fill up all by its lonesome. Um, okay. What else can I tell you? I got that. Uh, you got the button on the steering wheel. Let's see. We go to, um, well, let's go through it. Help, go to help and support, download Atlas, um, go to GitHub, get the workbook. Which the link for that will be down below. Um, after you do the download, do that shock fix on the on the left front, right front. Uh, that's it. I hope you're as excited as I am for you guys. Like I said, if you're a DIY guy like myself, this is going to this is a game changer, huge game changer um, for what you're doing at home on this stuff. Uh, now you can definitely take the stock setup. Do some tweaks to it. Get the right heights where you want them. Get the rake angle uh, on the car um, for downforce. Get that settled in. Because with the next gen, with the next gen coming out, you won't be able to do any of that stuff without a program like this. Nothing. You'll be doing fixed setups, or you'll be like that that guy that does those videos that takes a stock setup and puts it in an open race and and just acts like an idiot, uh, thinking he can run a, a fixed setup in an open. Uh, you're in a fixed setup in an open. All you're doing is hoping you don't get wrecked. <laughs> right? Or you don't wreck yourself. Um, yeah, you get your, your SR rating, your IR rating up there because you start in the back, you don't qualify good, and hopefully the leaders take themselves out. And whoopee, you got to win because uh, you didn't race it. Uh, you weren't racing, you are just walking your dog. So uh, take the fixed setup. Change it into a uh, setup that you can work and run open races with a fixed setup. Modify it, a modified fixed setup. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this. Find us on Facebook, Buster's Corner. Uh, join that page so you get the updates that we have over there. Be part of the community that's building our own setups is what we're doing here. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Say hi to the 209 on the track. Bye-bye.